What's up, guys? Jay? More than kill? And I, I know this might come as sort of a surprise to some of you guys, but I'm back here with some Destiny 2! And uh, that's no joke. It's 100% serious. <laughs> it's no secret that since the launch of Destiny 2, Bungie has had trouble recapturing the magic that's made Destiny 1 so popular. While Destiny 2 featured an amazing campaign, beautiful graphics, and finally launching with a PC counterpart, at the end game, it fell flat on its face with content. With the lack of random rolls on weapons, powerful exotics, and slim pickings in the PvP game mode offerings, Destiny's sophomore release fell way short of many Guardian's expectations, mine included. When you couple that with a very forgettable DLC from Curse of Osiris, up until recently it looked like Destiny 2 was pretty much flopping on the ground like a fish out of water. However, recently Bungie has been taking steps to rectify this with the release of the Warmind expansion, doubling down on endgame content by offering a more expansive raid layer with Spire of the Stars, the super high level endgame activity escalation protocol, and offering some of the most powerful weapons and exotic buffs that we've seen since Destiny 1. And ever since then, Bungie has been able to set Destiny 2 on a more favorable course. But let's be real, it's still just not there yet when you compare to what Destiny 1 offered overall. That is, up until last week when the Destiny community came together to solve an incredibly complex secret mission which starts on IO as a public event takes you through a labyrinth of twists, turns, and one of the most difficult jump puzzles the game's seen yet, all while an ominous timer in your corner is ticking down to oblivion. And if you're able to make it through, you're treated to one of Destiny's most difficult tasks yet, one that makes the Black Spindle quest in Destiny 1 look like child's play. You're faced with the task of clearing out a three-room gauntlet filled to the brim with taken enemies, culminating in a boss fight against three yellow bar bosses simultaneously. Goddamn. <laughs> and if you're able to complete the challenge in the time given, you're rewarded with the Whisper of the Worm exotic sniper rifle or better known as the Black Hammer. Not the Black Spindle. Not the post-nerf Black Hammer, you remember. Nope. You're treated to the original Black Hammer in all its glory. White nail perk and all, meaning you can nail three sniper rifle precision shots in a row and the gun refills your magazine for free. Just how you remember it from Destiny 1 the dark below. And it may not seem like much on the surface, but in reality when you dig deeper, this one weapon, this one quest, may have saved Destiny 2 from utter failure. And I, I know, I know that's a pretty bold statement to make here, but listen to me, hear me out on this. Prior to the Whisper quest leading up to the Forsaken DLC, there's a lot of Guardians that were skeptical about trusting Bungie with another large chunk of money for DLC. Like I said previously, the game has been making strides recently. I'm not going to take that away from Bungie, but it just didn't have that spark of what made Destiny 1 so special. But the Whisper of the Worm quest seems to have been that spark to rejuvenate the community's infatuation with Destiny once again. This one quest embodies everything that's made Destiny 1 amazing. Not only did it bring the community together for an entire weekend to figure out exactly what this secret quest was and how to complete it, 
but it also offered incentives for guardians like myself who stopped playing for a lack of endgame to actually come back to the game and want to level up their characters to a high enough light to be able to complete this quest themselves. But I think the biggest and the most important part of this quest is, is that it shows that Bungie themselves hasn't forgotten what's made Destiny, Destiny. You know, they gave us an exotic quest reward that's not only the best gun in the game, but also it fixes one of the most disappointing moments of Destiny 1 by offering Guardians their pre-nerf Black Hammers back in all its glory, which to me almost seems kind of like an in-game apology and a promise that moving ahead that we'll have more of the same to look forward to. And judging by the trailer that they dropped showcasing some of the new exotics from the Forsaken DLC this week, it's looking like the previously derailed Destiny hype train might just be back on track. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. More than I have to kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys read, comment, and subscribe. If you leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfuckers videos. But let me know in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy the recent changes that Bungie has been making heading into the Forsaken DLC? Did you get your Whisper of the Worm this week? Are you glad to see 6v6 back in the PvP playlist rotation? And if not, tell me in the comment section down below, what would it take for Bungie to bring you back to D2? I want to know. My name's Jay. We're in the Afterkill. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see y'all over here. Later.